In this video, we will learn how to calculate surface areas and volumes of three-dimensional objects. Here, there are a set of formulas which you must remember. Now, here, these are the formulas for surface areas. S means surface area and V is the volume. Now, H is the height. What about P? P is the perimeter of the base. If this is a rectangular prism, that's the perimeter of the rectangular base. Here, if it's a right regular pyramid, it's the perimeter of this square base. So that's the thing. And L is the slant height. It's not the vertical height. H is the vertical height. L is the slant height. R is the radius. And over here, H is the vertical height. L is slant height. We will look into a problem. The model of a roof is the shape of a square pyramid as shown. If the surface area of the model is 64 centimeters square, what is the slant height? Now look over here, they're not asking for surface area or volume, they're asking for the slant height. If you recall the formula, surface area formula is half PL plus B. Volume is one third base into height. Here we cannot use the volume because they have given the surface area and we need L, right? We just use the first formula. So using that formula, let's substitute what all we know already. We know S value. I'll just write the formula over here, PL plus P. S value is known, that is S over here. Now, this one is unknown. See, this is unknown. Here, what we know is only the side and the slant height is unknown. We don't know the height, but we do not require the height. Only for the volume, the height is required. That's fine. So if this side is phi, it's a squared base, so all is phi. Now, we will find the perimeter P. That will be 4 times 5, that is 20. And we need also B, right? B is the area of the base. Area of the base is 5 squared, that is 25. We have all the required values here. Only L is unknown. We will substitute. S is 64. Half times P value is 20. L is the unknown value. Plus B is 25. Now, we can put this in the calculator. Directly get the answer. I can just simplify here, it's 10, and over here, take this to the other side, 64 minus 25 equals 10L, 25 would be 40 minus 1, 39 equals 10L, or you can just divide both the sides by 10, it will be 3.9 equals L. So the length, the slant height, sorry, is 3.9 centimeters because the units is in centimeters remember this is in centimeters that's how we solve it now we do not need to use the volume why because they have not asked for the volume only the slant height so that's the answer and over here we have another similar problem a candle is in the shape of a pyramid the volume of a candle is 27 cubic centimeters and its height is 6 centimeters find the area of the base of the candle now here, if you recall, we have volume as V equals one-third base into height. B is the area of the base. So basically, you know everything else, substitute it. It's very direct substitution. Substitute all the values you know, 27, H is 6, and you will get the base of the area of the base. Over here, we have a cone. Looking at this, we can understand it's a cone. We know the height is given as 6. And they have also given the volume. You should remember the formula and easily solve. Over here, they're asking for what? The radius. You can see this is a circle and the radius is unknown. Substitute all that is known because everything is given. Volume is given. Nothing else is required and height is given. Only radius is missing. One variable. Solve it up. You will get the answer. Now, please remember the formulas and then look into the shape. You should not only by heart the formulas, you should know which shape it is, which formula. And then you can easily solve this up.